three, two, one. That looks amazing. Hi buddy, how are you? Well, in today's video, I am back at one of my favorite places to shoot, Tank Space. I can't wait for today's video. It's going to be so much fun. If you follow me in my channel, you'll know that I've been to Tank Space before. I've made videos where I've used this underwater tank. And I've also made a video where I have used this incredible rain machine, which is the only purpose-built rain machine of its type in the UK. But today we are going another step further. And when I was speaking to Tank Space recently, they were telling me about something else which they are now offering, which just blows my mind. In today's video, the amazing Bambi is going to set herself on fire. I can't wait for this. So let's crack on. So as I've just said, Tank Space is one of my favorite places that I've ever had the pleasure to shoot in. It is incredible. And if you are a photographer in the UK, honestly, get in contact with Tank Space and come and do a shoot here because you will never shoot the images that you're gonna get here anywhere else. And I say, when Tank Space told me that there was a possibility of shooting with fire, I was like, sign me up. So I don't even know what's gonna be involved today. So Bambi, if you don't mind me asking, yeah. how do you even get into this? And obviously, is it safe? Should just say, if you're watching this video, Bambi is a trained professional. Do not try anything you're gonna see in this video at home. I certainly won't be, although, did set my hands on fire before. <laughs> but that was under trained supervision. Under yeah. supervision, yeah. How do you get in, involved in this in the first place? Um, so, I mean, I do general modeling. I grew up kind of doing performance and dance and stuff like that. My, my running joke is that as studio supervisor and house model at Tank Space, I spent too long getting wet. <laughs> and the only way to overcorrect that was to set myself on fire. So it works. It works. So that's kind of what sparked my interest in it. It's something that I've always kind of wanted to learn. Now, luckily enough for me, one of our Tank Space house models, Jem, is a very well-trained, um, amazing professional fire performer. And we did a little trade for trade where I uh, made some things for her for costuming, which is just a fun well, side project talented. that I do. And in exchange, she trained me with fire. So she trained me for a few of the basics and also some not so basic tricks, so such as like the eating, stuff like that. Now, what we're going to be doing today is what I would call like static fire. I don't I think that's an official term but that's what I call it so it's fire that has a fixed point it's on a stick and yeah. it's attached to you so we're not swinging we're not breathing not doing anything like that just because inside it's a little bit too unpredictable so what we're doing today is kind of the safest version of fire that you can do but again you've got to kind of have that, that fire safety already. You've got to have that training. Yeah. I know that my level with fire is that I can be safe with fire. I can do, you know, body burns. I can do bubbles, daft, sword, things like that. But I focus more on the flow art as opposed to tricking. Um, and that's purely because I come from a dance background. As much as I am a professional and I'm insured and I am licensed to, even I know there are things that I'm, I'm not able yes. to do yet. Yeah, no, that's sensible. Yeah, and even, even though I do do this now and I perform and can be shot doing it, I'm still going to classes myself. So it's it's always learning. Brilliant. Always learning. And if anybody watching this wants to come and shoot something like this, how simple is the process? So it's pretty simple. I mean, I, as well as being a house model, I'm also studio supervisor. So myself and Halo, who is over there. <laughs> Sorry for just pointing just to say, at you over there. You'll notice Halo, because Halo was in this video where Halo was incredible at going underwater, just majestic. I'm so, very good at sinking in an aesthetic manner. There you at go. Sinking aesthetically. Myself or Halo is going to be the person that's running the hire. So if people want to book me specifically, they can email Tank Space and request that I'm here. Also, chances are, if you're just here for a hire, I'll be here anyway. So if you want to add it on as an additional extra, again, through an email or through a phone call, that could be arranged. Brilliant. Well, I'm. thank you for inviting me. I'm so excited. I'm really Genuinely excited so too. excited for today. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely amazing. Remember, everyone, how often can you get to shoot with someone when they're setting themselves on fire? So as I have obviously never done anything like this before, I'm just going to ask Bambi, first of all, just to demonstrate what she's going to be doing so that I can then have a look and then think about how I may be going to, to light Bambi. Say, never done this before, so it's all a learning experience for me. 
So the first prop we're going to be using is the vapor ones. Again, static, it's on a stick. They are also hollow. Because they're hollow, um, you can do things like what we would call a dragon. Whoa. Which is where you're just blowing more air into the flame. With the dragon, you can also make shapes with it so too. good. Halo, if you could please light me again. Remember, Bambi knows what she's doing. Yes, yes, don't try this at home. So with these as well, you can do tongue touches, you can also do body burns, so you can kind of wow. put them anywhere. Just put them out like that. Also what you can do with these, so that was just me letting the stick cool for a second, because what you can also do with the ones Whoa. is eat fire too, um, which is just a great way to put it out. This is a fire sword. So this one takes a little longer to light just because the wick is massive, but this holds the flame for a lot longer than the other two. This one's less tricky. Obviously there are tricks that you can do with sword. That's not something that's in my repertoire currently. And as you can see, it's burning for ages. Like this will keep burning for a while now, especially because it's refueled. I've got, I just got to say, really silly question about how, you, there you go, that answers yeah. my question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you do big swish. There are other ways to extinguish the fire sword. That for me, I just prefer. It just looks it's cool just as well. It's just a nice big swoosh, <laughs> yeah. And then I think I've got one more thing to show you as well, Ooh. which is really exciting. It's like an Apple presentation. Just one more thing. Just one <laughs> more thing. So Halo is going to light me again. Whoa. And that one's a real quick one, real quick fire. But with the bubbles, you can put them on any flat surface of myself. So I'll get into a pose put some bubbles on and then we can light it. And it's really good for photography. I've also done bubbles as like really interesting B-roll in videos before. So there is a fire video that's available on YouTube and also on my social media. So it has me using all three. It was filmed by a lovely man named Dean and I'm using the sticks, the sword and also the bubbles in all of that. And there's a lot of like quick fire kind of flashes where we've done neck, face, bottom of the foot, basically anywhere can be set on fire relatively painlessly. <laughs> it's amazing because you look at this and you think there's no way that this can be painless, but clearly, yeah. well, you're proof. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm fine. As you've just seen me on fire, the people at home have seen me on fire and I am okay. I'm also very pale, so if I was burnt, you'd yeah, see Yeah, you'd it. be able to tell, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for that. So that gives me an idea about what we're going to be doing today. So I'll now get the cameras out and we'll start shooting. So excited. Fire! I'm not sure yet whether I'll be using the speed lights, but just in case I am, I've set up three speed lights here behind where Bambi will be. This over here is going to be speed light A. That is a Godox V860 with a purple Magmod gel attached. This is speed light B. This is an AD200. At the moment, that's just bare. I don't think I need to control any of this build from that yet, but we'll see. And over here, this is going to be speed light C. And this is another Godox V860 with a red Magbod gel attached. So, not sure if I'm going to use them yet, but they're set up just in case. Okay, they look really good, but I do feel like I need a front light on Bambi, so I'm going to add one of those now. This is going to be D, another Godox AD200 with a mag grid and mag sphere, and that will be relatively close to Bambi, and this is going to just be to light her from the front and very low power. I'm going to put this on like 128, just for a little bit of light from the front. This is so exciting. Never done anything like this before and Bambi is making it really easy. It also shows you the value of working with a really good model as well because all I'm doing now, once I've got the setup, is literally pointing the camera and taking a photo. Also important to point out obviously that the speed lights that are going to be underneath the rain have these freezer bags on. These are from Ikea and they're really good because they're thick, they're big and they're clear. So yeah, make sure if you're gonna shoot in the rain, <laughs> you have protection. Oh, 
yes! This looks amazing. Really good. Actually, hold it there, please, Bambi. That was really good. These are epic. We're gonna turn up D and just that same shot again, if you don't mind. Sorry, Bambi. Yeah, it just looks rich. I'll make sure I've got this one. Yeah, there. Cool, really good. Oh, these are amazing. To be fair, we are not gonna do this, but if I went home now, I'd be delighted. That was amazing. That was absolutely incredible. Here are my favorites from that little session. Yeah, cool. And then if you can just hold it in front of your face again, if that's okay. That's where, to make sure I've got this. Yeah, just hold it there, I'm gonna take a few. Yeah, got it, cool. Okay, wait, I'm ready now. Yeah. Oh, these are amazing. If you're a photographer and you're watching this, what are you waiting for? Get in contact with Tank Space. Yeah. The rain looks so good. Yeah, got it, cool. I hope Bambi's comfortable with the word, but she is an artist and you just feel privileged to shoot this. So good. I'm in awe of what Bambi's producing here. It's, it's incredible to see. Even if I wasn't a photographer, I'd enjoy watching this. Just to remind you, all the photographs that you see in my videos were edited using my Lightroom preset pack, which you can download from my website. The pack includes my presets, brushes, magic masks, and a 100 minute editing tutorial video in which I show you exactly how I edit my photographs. Yeah, cool. I can't tell you how happy and excited I am about the shots we've taken already. It is like a playground shooting at Tank Space. Remember, this is just one of the things that they offer as well. But I just wanted to make sure, more for me as well than anything else, that I show you my setup again. So again, Speedlight A got up to V860 with a purple gel attached. That's on 116's power. Speedlight B, no modifier on there, but we do have a freezer bag because that's in danger of getting wet. <laughs> and that was on, I varied that. It went between 1.8 and 1.64 power, depending on what shot I was taking. Flash C over here, another Godox V860 with a red, Magma gel attached. That's not under the rain either, so it doesn't need a freezer bag. That was on 1 16th. And D over here with a freezer bag attached and a magma grid and a mag sphere. This was lighting from the front. And as you can see there, that for the last shots there, the 35 mil shots, that was on a quarter power, but that was usually on about a 16th or a 64. What we're now going to do is play with a sword. This is just like being a big kid. We're playing with fire and now we're playing with a sword.
already got it. That looks so cool. This is impossible not to get a good shot with. Oh, and then just looking towards the light, Bambi, if that's okay. The halo's holding. Yes! Epic! Yeah, that looks so cool. A big thank you to Halo for being my incredible lighting assistant for this shot. Oh, it just looks so good at the back of the camera already. So three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yes! Okay, and three, two, one. That looks amazing! Bambi, that was amazing. Thank you, Halo. And thank you, Helen, as well. And thank you, Kai, over there. Honestly, no, thank you, everyone. You're not escaping, Kai. Everyone at Tank Space has been incredible. Here are my favorite photographs from today's shoot. Again, a sincere and massive, huge thank you to all the team at Tank Space. And remember, you can do this, and I assure you, you will love it. If you're a photographer, this is about as fun as it gets. And so I'm gonna let you into a secret, there's not that much skill involved from my part, because the skill is all coming from over here. All I'm doing is just basically pressing the shutter and getting these incredible images. So massive thank you again to everybody at Tank Space. If you have any questions about anything I've done in this video, I'm probably not the person to ask. <laughs> But if you do, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try and answer every single one. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you to Helen, thank you to Bambi, thank you to Halo, thank you to Kai. Sorry, one second.